gitu ya wow 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 hahaha <laughs> that was fun Today we're going to do a quick autopilot test on 2018.46.2, which Eric got, I think, the day that he took yep. possession or took delivery of his new Model 3 performance car. Um, we're, we heard some rumors that they've made some slight modifications on the Navigate on Autopilot. Before, when you had Navigate on Autopilot, if the car in front of you was going too slow, it would give you suggestions to change lanes to the left or the right, but once you were in that lane, you would stay in that lane, and it mm -hmm. never had you move back over. And in many places, many jurisdictions it's the law that you're not supposed to stay in that lane unless you are passing someone so we heard this rumor that once it makes that change into that lane once it is safe to move back into the right lane or left if you're in england then it will move back over to the regular driving lane instead of the passing lane specific to 2018.46.2 exactly so we're gonna go try this out and see if we can get this uh, new feature to work Actually, I don't think, I don't know if I've ever been in a Model 3 performance uh, launch. Whoa, yeah. I don't think I have. That was the first one. Because before, well, I actually take that back. I think we did that in, no, I don't think we ever did it in, that in the black one. I know that we've gone fast in a non-performance one, remember that? Yeah. So the key is having the max yeah, set high so that it'll set higher so that it'll push us over. Yeah. So we're just gonna actually just set it to the max. Oh, but we need that lane to go faster than this lane. Okay, confirm. So that worked. Okay, so okay, and then hopefully we'll take us back over to the right lane. I almost feel like there's too much traffic. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. I thought it would be slower today on you know, a Sunday, but. Oh, it's going left again. Oh. So I have it set to 80 and on Mad Max, so it should be pushing us. There we go. To the left as much as possible. But when it clears up back in the middle, it should push us back over if yeah. what people are claiming holds true. Yeah. Yeah, it could be that they just reported it on the wrong version, but we'll see if it's 46.2 or 48.1. Yeah, I mean, with 48, we should all be getting that soon with the upcoming Easter eggs and whatnot. Yeah. So, I'd imagine it should be in that one, but it'd be nice if it was in 46.2. I don't know if it'll do it here because it sees that other car up there. It doesn't see the other well, car. Well, I mean, it, it might though. With the radar, it might be like a... We'll see. At least if it is... Oh, there's the other car. It just popped up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So now we're here. It would be a, probably a good test. Maybe. Oh, unless that guy just slows down and... We think 80 is too fast. Could be, yeah, uh, because. Should we drop it down to 75? I guess. So here is a good case. We're going 75, no one in front of us, yeah. but we could easily do 75 in the lane to the right. Try. Yeah. We could easily do it. Mm. Now I guess the right lane is slowing down a little bit. Let's see if we just drop it down to 70 and see if anything will prompt it to move us to the right there lane. There should be plenty of room now. Oh yeah, plenty of room. It can't see that car up ahead. I can't really even see it. No, so I don't... So, I don't really see Navigate on Autopilot wanting us to move yeah, over at all. I guess, just go ahead and we can turn around up here. Does it know this lane ends? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. Look at all the lanes, that's probably the most amount of lanes I've seen, it was like five. I don't think it knows, I think it's just gonna like, cut over. Oh yeah, okay, so this is another thing that would be nice if it would yeah, cause it didn't improve blink. upon, because it, it, no blinker at all. Yeah, it's like, oh, let's go. I assume if there was a car there, it wouldn't have done that, I don't know what it would have done though. I don't know, maybe we can, we can try that in the next one. Yeah, whoa. 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 <laughs> <laughs> huh, that was fun.
So in our testing so far, we weren't able to reproduce this uh, new feature that people have been talking about. So I'm thinking they might have been mistaken on the version and instead of 46.2, maybe it's in the 48.1 version yeah. that's out. Um, or if it, they did have it on Navigate on Autopilot, maybe they were getting close to their exit and it was prompting them that's, to get back over That's also. possible too, because I've seen that when I come home in the evenings, there's our road, we have two lanes that, that, that continue straight and we have a third lane that is for a little while and it has had me change to the right to get into that exit and it does it automatically sometimes. But that, yeah. I was thinking that might be the feature, but it looks like that could have just been the, you know, taking the exit grab automatically. And but see, we're now going slower than that right lane and I have cars behind me mm -hmm. and it's not wanting me to get back over at all. So I don't really think navigate on autopilot will push you into the right lane unless you're getting close to your exit. Yeah, not, not which, yet. Not which is a bummer because in some states, actually most places, it's illegal to ride in the left unless yep. you're passing. Yep, so it doesn't look like we have that yet, so that should be coming in the next update that we get. Yeah, so hopefully we get 2018.48. something. Dot one, I think, is soon, the latest one. Because that's the one that's supposed to contain all the Easter eggs, which hopefully they turn on by year's end. Uh, really should contain a lot of stuff. Hopefully it contains something like this, too. Because this is something I really think should be in autopilot. Especially navigate on autopilot. Yeah. Uh, just for safety concerns and everything else. Yeah. That is one thing, though, about navigate on autopilot. Is it's like, it just always assumes we got to move to the left. And it's like, well, you know, as a, as a human, you can see that, oh, there's a ton of cars in the passing lane. You know, and then there's a, maybe a slow RV or something in this lane. It, you know, you're not supposed to pass on the right, mm -hmm. but you can see that there's no traffic in the right lane. It would be nice if it had that logic to be able to go over there. And now, do we think Tesla's vision program will ever be able to do that? Because technically, that camera should be able to see more than I can because it's up a little higher. Yeah, and there's multiple ones. Yeah, wide angle. And... So it might just be that they're not using all those cameras, which in the future is definitely something that will That's another thing right here also. is this, is is like when somebody turns on their turn signal, can the camera and the, oh, the autopilot recognize computer that. recognize that and be like, okay, and allow somebody, you know, give them a little bit of distance. Because here, that, that guy took a little while and it didn't slow down until he actually got in the lane where the polite driver would have maybe slowed down and let him in. Yeah. So zippering would be something, you know. Zip anyway, that's basically it. Definitely comment down below. Let's see what you guys, like what features you want to see in 2018.48. Definitely some others that I would love to see, but definitely something like that moves you back over to the right after you've passed a car would be extremely beneficial for both safety and legal reasons alike. Oh, I had a dream. And I was doing something trying to do autopilot and I forgot to turn autopilot on and we were like going over like into the you know the ditch or whatever and then I was like oh then I was just holding it slowly like hoping nobody else in the car would realize that that the car was going off the road because you didn't have autopilot on yeah you're weird dude Also, we did get our invite to the Boring Company event, which will be held on Tuesday, December 17th at night. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to try to live stream any of that. Otherwise, we'll have a video shortly after, probably sometime on Wednesday, of what exactly goes on. It should be a good event, so definitely subscribe for that. But yeah, as always, if you guys are looking for a Tesla, definitely check out our website, teslainventory.com. If you are going to be buying a new Tesla Model S, X, or Model 3, feel free to use our referral code. It's down in the description below and at the top of our website. Actually goes through December, what, 18th? It goes through the 17th, which is tomorrow. Ah. Or today, actually, the, by the time this video is up. Yeah, so it actually ends today, and that way you can get six months of free supercharging. No idea if it will be extended beyond that. And also definitely check out our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean, if you're looking to buy anything for your Model SX or Model 3. They have some great screen protectors, different lights to put in your car to make it that much brighter. You can use the code Tesla Inventory, all one word, at checkout and get 15% off your order. But that's basically it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely smash that thumbs up button. Go ahead and click here to subscribe, here for some other ones, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.